Hi, Scott Bruder here. As uh, all of you may be aware, or not, uh, I'm a big fan of the PSP Go as my favorite portable handheld unit. And uh, that's been the same thing for, oh, probably the last 10 years. Now, I've been looking around at uh, accessories such as the PSP Go dock. And of course, there's a proprietary connector here on the bottom. And the docks are going for uh, beyond $300 uh, every time I look. And that just blows my mind because I think inside them there's, you know, a couple resistors and a circuit board. Um, so what I wanted to do was, you know, build my own. And I see online there's a, a couple uh, other people that are kind of in the same idea. Now, I took a look at uh, the connection that I use uh, to charge my device, and I'm like, I should be able to take this apart. But I look down inside, and you don't have to zoom in there to take a look at it, but that connector only has, was it five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pins? There's a whole section that's not populated. And that's just the cables, of course, to charge, or the pins to charge, and to do data uh, over USB. So I was like, okay, well, Maybe I just got a cheap cable. Um, maybe we should uh, see if there are other options out there. So, I ordered another one. And it has the same pins that are missing. And then I went and I ordered one with a... <laughs> Ooh, bless me. A different shaped connector. Thinking, you know, different shaped connector may have different pins. Nope same pins and I then went and uh, tried to find my official that's right uh, official Sony branded uh, component cable with your red and what do they say mustard and ketchup and mayonnaise <laughs> audio and video and I went and took a look at this one and it has different pins connected look at that or left inside. Let's see if we can zoom in and let's compare it. So this one here just does video. It doesn't do power uh, and data. So you can see that between the two of them, there's almost a full set of pins. And I thought, okay, well, let's, let's see what's kind of going on inside one of these. Maybe I want to pop it open and experiment on it. Uh, just see here. Oh, look at that. That was that was easier than I expected. So you can see that it's got a custom circuit board, but the circuit board doesn't even have the additional spots populated on it. So it would definitely be needing to make a whole new circuit board and take a couple of these connectors, put them together just to have all of the pins needed to get that whole, I believe it's 24 pins. I would recommend if you have any PSP Go accessories, go take a look. See how many pins you have. Um, you may have something important. Uh, now, I did make one discovery. Well, look at that. Bounce, bounce. And that one discovery is I had many, many, many years ago, and I found it, a really cheap knockoff wall wart power supply for the PSP Go. It was a PSP Go travel charger, part number PSG-AC. That makes sense. And it had this kind of, you know, connector with flowing edges on it. But let's see here. I was happily surprised that it... Focus. Has all of the pins. There it is. Has all of the pins. So... I may pop this one open and dissect it, but seeing as this is the only connector that I can find in the world right now, unless anybody who's watching this has any details uh, or can put me in the right direction, the only connector in the world that I'm aware of that has all the pins. So if I open this, I have to be very, very, very careful not to, to damage it, as it could very well be my last opportunity. Um, so... This is my cry for help. If any of you know where I can find this connector, even if it's from a damaged anything, as long as the pins are good in the end, um, I will uh, I will start 
on my side of the project and I'll make sure that when I make another video I cite in the comments below all of the other people that have been doing work on creating your own video dock cables because the PSP Go you know it's it's a great system it emulates like I have bought new portable handhelds, MiUs and Ambernix and stuff, and the PSP Go still does it better. It does it faster in loading and uh, unloading. It's got great controls. Uh, the, the batteries, well, of course, you need to get a, yourself a new battery. Um, storage, it's still hands down. Like, I, a $100 Ambernix still doesn't wow me as much as a the PSP Go does. So... I'd like to be able to dock it, have it play on a big screen TV, like you can pair a PlayStation 3 controller with it, and play it just like a console, and I think that's that's what I want to do. So comment, and like, and share, and if you know anybody else who's in the PSP community that may have some input, you know, drop drop a link to this video to them. I would really like to get feedback on how I can make um my own docking station you know in the days of we're in with 3d printing and custom pcbs i feel like we could really produce a quality dock for the psp go that has all the bells and whistles um and even things like debug i i see that you short some pins out on uh on the connector and you can get into the debug menu but yeah you know what talk about it below and uh, connect with me. Follow me here on uh, YouTube and on all of my other social media. Scott B. Have a great day.